Okay, here we're going to look at an example of solving a polynomial congruence modulo our power of a prime. And so we're going to use the technique that's outlined uh, in Hansel's lemma, which uh, I have a previous video on. So the first step is to consider the congruence modulo the base prime. So since 25 is 5 squared, we'll consider the congruence modulo 5. And we'll do this by just making a chart since 5 is a fairly small prime. And we'll notice that if we take x, f of x here, so we only need to consider the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And we notice that if we plug in 0, we'll get uh, 7, which is equal to 2 mod 5, so that's not equal to 0. If we plug in 1, um, we'll get 11, which is 1, which is not 0. If we plug in 2, we'll get uh, 4 plus 6 is 10, plus 7 is 17, which is equal to 2, which is again not equal to 0. If we plug in 3, what we get is 25, which is 0, and if we plug in 4, we get 35, which is also 0. So now we, what we want to do is construct solutions out of these solutions that we built from 3 and 4. Okay, good. So let's look at the solution x equals 3 first. And so that we know uh, our new solution, well first of all, what we need to look at is the GCD of 5 and f prime of 3. And so first maybe we should calculate that f prime of x is equal to 2x plus 3. So that means the GCD of 5 and F prime of X is the same thing as the GCD of 5 and 9, which is equal to 1. So that means we can apply the theorem. And so what we'll want to do is solve the linear congruence given by um, F prime of A, so F prime of 3 times Y is congruent to negative 25 over 5 mod 5. Good. So now notice that this um, obviously is congruent to 0 mod 5, which means our only solution here, um, even though in this case we have 9, our only solution here is y equals 0, which tells us that our new solution is 3 plus 0 times 5, but that's just equal to 3. And we notice that 3 was an original, or, or 3 was equal equal to 25 when we plug it into the polynomial, and that is 0 mod um, 25 anyway. So now let's look at the other solution. So let's look at x equals 4. And so we can check that the GCD of 5 with f prime of 4, so that's the GCD of 5 with 11, and that's also equal to 1. And then using the same strategy, we need to um, calculate a solution to 11, which is f prime of 4 is congruent to negative 35 over 5 mod 5. And so that's the same thing as solving um, the congruence y is congruent to negative 7, but negative 7 is the same thing as 3 mod 5. 